welcome to Field Sketch. Thanks for watching. Today we have uh, Blade's new quadcopter, the 350 QX. Um, I want to talk about a couple things that are in the box, what comes with it, um, what you can expect as far as assembly time, uh, and then we'll go out and we'll take some video. It's got two red props, two gray props. Uh, it does come with extra props in the box. It comes in a nice carrying case that you can actually take to the field. It's got a, it runs on 11.1 three cell LiPo battery. Comes with a charger uh, to charge that. Um, there is a drawback to this charger is it has to run off of a 12 volt battery. Uh, it doesn't have the AC adapter um, to plug it in the wall. So you will have to have a battery or if you have another charger. Uh, currently I've got the battery charging right now on my balance charger. Comes with, if you get the ready to fly, um, it comes with a Spectrum DX5E radio, um, 2.4 gigahertz. It's got your dip switches here that you can change some settings, your trim controls here, your button here to turn it on, battery indicator. A couple other switches that it has here, your high and low rates switch on the right hand side. Left hand side is going to be your throttle. Um, high stick is up throttle or up elevation. Uh, low stick is down throttle and then left and right will be just like a rudder on a helicopter. It rotates when you move the stick to the left then the, then the helicopter or the quadcopter is going to rotate to the left. When you move it to the right it's going to rotate to the right. As you raise the stick up then obviously then it's going to uh, start to hover and increase in its altitude. On the right hand stick is kind of like your cyclic control on your helicopter. Uh, forward and backward is your elevator or forward and backward pitch. When you push the stick forward, um, it's going to lean forward and start to travel this way. When you pull the stick back, it's going to lean back and start to travel this way. If you roll it to the left, it's going to roll to the left. And if you roll it to the right, then it will roll back to the right. It comes ready with the um, GoPro camera mount. It does not come with the GoPro camera. That would be nice. If you get the bind and fly, in the corner of the box here, it'll say BNF for bind and fly. And you can basically bind that to any uh, spectrum receiver that has enough channels to run it. But today we're talking about the ready to fly that comes with the transmitter. All the assembly that's required is to mount these two pieces of the GoPro camera mount together. There's little rubber bulbs inside there that snap into each piece. So you can see here that the camera can move when it's mounted in rubber. All right, this is a case that comes on the GoPro. There is a small case that comes in the box that you have to run the camera out of this protective case. I don't like to run it out of this protective case. So this screw comes with it. Uh, so I slid my case right in there and put the screw in there. Uh, and it's basically ready for flight. If you get the, the ready to fly, it's already bound to the radio. Uh, and I'll show you that in just a minute. We'll put the battery in it. There's three different flight modes um, on this quadcopter. The book is easy to read. It tells you how to program that to fly with your radio. There's three positions on this. The trainer switch, obviously when you hit the trainer switch and you're in smart mode, this thing has a return to home. So you can set it out there and where you turn it on and power it up at becomes its home location. It's got a built-in GPS uh, system. If you're flying and it gets out above uh, the trees or out, out past where you can see, then you hit the trainer button and then travels back to the GPS location uh, and lands automatically. Um, in the event that you lose power, um, you know, you cut the transmitter off or, or something happens, your transmitter fails, then it, it has the return to home. Whenever you're in smart mode, you do not have to know the orientation of the quadcopter. Now with a helicopter, the Blade 400, T-Rex, any of the helicopters, you have to know the orientation. And when you're flying with the nose away from you, it's tail in or nose out orientation. If you're out here and you move the stick to the left and this thing turns around and now it's facing you, the controls are the same, but the orientation is now nose in. So forward now still sends it forward, but it comes to you. Backward sends it backwards, but it goes away from you. It's exactly opposite. And so left is right, right is left. Left is still left as far as spinning, but right becomes left on your aileron and forward becomes back and, and so forth with your stick. 
when you've got this in smart mode, you don't have to worry about the stick orientation. In other words, you can have it in nose away or tail in and start fast forward flight, just pitch it forward. It'll start going out like this. If you turn the rudder to have this thing start spinning, usually if you do that, then what would happen was is as you have the nose down on a helicopter, you move the rudder to the left and it's going to spin the tail left and it's going to start driving away this way. In smart mode, this thing knows where you are and it does not care about the orientation. So in other words, you can push the stick forward, start flying fast forward, and then sit here and turn the stick to the left and this thing will spin around and around and around and around and continue to go forward, which is away from you, and it'll stay in a straight line. Same thing, you can come back and it doesn't matter where it spins, left, left is left, according to where you're looking, always facing it, right is right, forward is away from you, and backward is towards you, and you can spin around. Now this is, it's smart mode, which is easier to fly, it doesn't do 3D tricks and stuff in that mode, but what it does do is allow you to position this camera wherever you want and not have to think about the orientation. You, you worry more about the video than you do the orientation of the bird. So as, as you're, you know, you're filming someone on a bicycle, you just move to the side of them and pa press it forward, but as you pan beside them, you can twist sideways and, and fo follow along with them, but as long as you keep it moving forward, it's gonna move away from you in a straight line. So it becomes very handy and it keeps you from having to worry about your flight controls while you're trying to, to get a good video. The next um, mode is one click up, which is stability mode. Now in stability mode, it is stabilized, but it you have to know the orientation. It's just like a helicopter. Whenever you're moving away from you, if you move the left stick, it's gonna start steering to the left and start going in circles to the left, okay? So you have to know the orientation and fly like that in stability mode. And then the third mode, if you move this switch all the way up, is agility mode. And this little booger is fast. It, it will do flips and rolls. So for you guys that like to do tricks and 3D and that kind of stuff, it will not hover upside down because it's fixed pitch. So it doesn't have the collective pitch to carry it. You can do loops and rolls if you, you know, once you learn how to fly it. But it is a fast little bird. Again, it comes with the GoPro mount, so it's ready to carry the camera and it's got plenty enough power to carry the camera. So you can get, and because it's mounted in rubber, you get some really good anti-vibration characteristics out of those rubber mounts, and so you don't get the shake in the video. This is the uh, 3 cell 11.1, 2200 uh, milliamp um, battery for the quadcopter. And so what you do is slide this right inside here. It's got two Velcro straps here. You probably can't see that on the video, but you slide this battery right inside there all the way up the one thing that I really like about this is the battery in it and it is that it is connected but it is not on um, that's the other battery that's finished charging but it does have an on off switch all right and so you set it down and then reach in here and turn the switch on Now the speed controls for the motor are not armed yet. You see here the green light on the bottom. The green light on and solid means that it is in smart mode, which means it doesn't have to worry about stick orientation. If you raise the switch one notch, it's in blue mode, which is stability mode. But now it, you have to know the orientation so you, know, you fly with the rudder. When you raise it all the way up, the red is agility mode, which means you can do 3D tricks with it, that, that there's no limitations. If this light is on and flashing, then what that tells you is that you don't have a correct GPS location. And GPS, It's armed, but it doesn't have the GPS location. So as long as it's on and solid, where you turn it on is where that, that return to home is. So it's recording and then we'll put it away, arm it up in smart mode, walk 16 feet away, and then that'll become the home position.
quick right. Now it's in smart mode, which is a solid green light. Bring it up.